Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Minister Paul. It is July 8, 2012 at 2.08 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in Northern California. <clears throat> First of all, I want to tell you that my ministry remains under attack. People have came and subscribed to my channel who, professing themselves to be wise, will become fools. I'm prophesying right now at 2.08. Minister Paul, having spent all day in time in the ministry, listening for the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to talk today about fulfilled prophecy, and I'm going to talk about the people who brought my channel down. And because they're attempting to do so again. And see, when you come against a man of God who's been obediently following Christ and forsake all, you got to know that God's going to give them advance warning of your strategies. And I know that I don't wrestle against flesh and blood. See, it's one thing. Let me just say this before I get into this. Because I only have limited time and got a lot to say. It's one thing to be in error uh, ignorantly and go about hurting people. And it's quite another to know it's error. Call yourself a Christian and then continue to go hurt men. In other words to profess to be a Christian, and instead of bringing the love and unity, that's what Jesus did, our role model. He brought love and unity to come and bring hatred, anger, and division. That's why God gave us gifts. One of my biggest gifts is prophecy, knowledge, and discernment. And, and you are a, when you attack this ministry, not only do you attack me, you attack everybody God is using me to bless. See, I, I don't bless anybody. It's the creator who you will stand before that blesses those who are willing to receive not my words, his words into their heart. So let me just publicly rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua, the Lord rebuke you. Even today. You are trying to bring this ministry down. When God said, behold, I will do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? That's what he told me. So I press on. Now let me show you what God, so you are rebuked and you have no power. Isaiah 54, 17 says, the, no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. And the Lord has already revealed to me, and I'm going to upload two or three videos today that are prophetic in nature. Um, that is released me to do today because he gave me a sign. Uh, it, he's revealed to me that you intentionally have opened the door and intentionally in the name of, of, of Christ do antichrist acts. And you're aware. See, there's a difference between, you know, the, you know doing, like I said, that you are aware of what you're doing is hurting people and you don't care. And therefore, as I said before, before uh, you lost power and, and the heat wave began, I'm going to say it again. According to Ecclesiastics, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest. And you, sir, and your friend will reap what you sow. And what you doing when you attack in this ministry, I turn it around and send it back your way. Whatever evil is behind you, and, and then God knows the intents of your heart, I send back your way. I'm addressing that one time and for all in the name of Yeshua. Plead the blood of Jesus over this ministry. Folks, we have a situation today. I, I've been asking God for a sign. Are we wrong to ask God for a sign? No. He says to watch for the signs and to take heed that no man deceive you. And that's in my next video coming up. Take heed that no man deceive you. Look today uh, on 7-8-2012, we had a 4.3. That's a number seven. Follow me on this. In where? Fort Bragg. You know, this is where I've taken my last three vacations because it's two hours northwest of me. Look at, look at, uh, uh, it's seven, three miles from Clear Lake. That's deep because I mentioned, uh, Clear Lake 
in Fort Bragg and Humboldt County in this area in my video. So take note of that. And they continue to come in to other areas of California. But this is the one that, that got my attention. So let's go, let's take a note of something else on this. The 7-3, that it's two hours north of me, that it occurred today. And then let's go to what why I'm concerned with this. Because it's located in the geysers. Now I want you to catch this. I just googled the geysers. It's what? Power plant. <laughs> it's power plant number three. It, this is powerful. There's going to be a lot of revelation revealed to those who have the word of knowledge and wisdom as I make this video. The Lord already told me. This power is basically helps provide PG&E power through these 22 geothermal plants. This is up in that area. I've been up there. This helps uh, provide power from, Cal uh, from San Francisco all the way to Oregon. Look at a map. So this is a warning. And because what will happen is California is entering into a period where they where we'll lose power. Here's a video, and I watch this, that I made on what seven three it got two thumbs down from the two people I'm speaking of that attacked my ministry and its subscribers but at exactly three seven you see that three seven the reason why I keep focusing on these numbers three seven is because an angel showed me the number seven and three there they are again seven and three this was uploaded on seven and three I prophesied that Fort Bragg would hit, and I mentioned those areas, and I've made a video. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I've made a video called The Geysers. L let's check. On Cinco de Mayo, see now, if this guy wouldn't attack my page, these have all been up, and God would have got some glory, but we press on anyway. All just take a look in in all these videos. See, this is 21 year. This Bible I've have in front of me, I've had for 21 years. That's seven times three, and we're going to get into that. But I'm looking for a video called here. It is the Geysers. Look at the date, 5 5 2012. It was uploaded to my old channel that these people bring down. Cinco de Mayo. Look at the other warnings. I talked about the Geysers right on the supermoon, 5 5. And I talked about another earthquake on 5-5. Five five. Gave a warning on Cinco de Mayo on 5-5. Five five. Uh, and uh, I even have a, a thing on Acts 5. Um, these people were able to bring that down. I also did a three-part series on disruption of communications. I want you to notice this. That's tomorrow where the FBI is claiming that you know we may lose internet. Well, if we do, it will be because of them. And then they'll have a reason, hear me out, they'll have a reason to say, well, we told you so. Well, I don't know why they were messing with the DNS servers anyway. I've, I've taken every precaution there is. If there was a bug on my system, my security would catch it. Trust me, I have a background in this. I did a three-part series on destruction of communications. Not when the FBI said on June 19th. At what? 7 p.m. And what is 1, 2? Well, that's a 3, a 3 and a 7. God is, God is doing something. I want you to just take all this in as I make this video. I uploaded a song that got two thumbs up from my friend. And I asked who would thumbs down a, f a friend of mine making a song. That's what it is. It's a song. You, you can go find it on my channel. Look at the day. The title of it is called 7-3. It says, are you ready for what is coming upon this world? Right at. Uh, 3.7 I pause it and I put my mouth uh, mouse right to the area and I say and listen to what I say you listen what you say or think anymore God said I believe it right there Eureka California Humboldt California Northern California uh, about two three hours north of Sacramento not Southern California right here big 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 Humboldt County, Eureka, Fort Bragg, expect it. Watch for it.
Did you hear that? Humboldt County Fort Bragg. <laughs> and then it goes back to the song. Well, there it is. 4.3. Fort Bragg. This is Humboldt County right here in, in Clear Lake. 7.3. Two, And it was exactly two hours north of me. But watch how I end this video on 7.3. For some reason, I go, it's, and, and I know who gave those, through the Spirit of the Lord, I know who gave the two thumbs down, and the recompense is a reward. You ready for this? For some reason, at the end of the song, I just grab, I grab Fort Bragg. That's where it is, right here. I grab it, and I just begin to shake it like an earthquake's hitting. Now, am I saying the big one's going to hit tomorrow? I am not saying that. Those, don't uh, misinterpret me. I'm saying that God gives visions and dreams to men and women. And according to Acts 2 and Joel 2 and the entire book of Acts and uh, all the prophets. So as advanced warnings, I don't know when this is going to happen, but we are going to lose communications and power. Uh, in California and we are to prepare for that and God has given us warnings we should praise him not not get angry at him watch how I end this video go watch it right now uh, are you ready for what is coming you be the judge that it was uploaded on 7-3 look see I grab it and I just begin to shake it and then my friend Marco says behold I'm coming quickly now let's quickly move along because Screenmatic only gives you 15 minutes Go down to here, where I talk about uh, a dream when I restarted this channel uh, about an angel had given me. Look, an angel shows me numbers and says war. Go watch that video because you know what? Two no the angel only showed me two numbers, and you know what they were? A seven and a three. Do you follow me? And the date of that video is a 7 and a 3. And this is a 7 and a 3. It's a warning that California is about to lose communications and power. Uh, I don't know what more else you need to see to understand that let God be true and every man be a liar. Here's the power plant right up there. I go up there all the time. I could go way more into this 7-3, but I think that, uh, let me let me just address the people who are attacking my ministry. In Acts 4, um, Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, was addressing these people. They just raised a, uh, the, they just healed a man. And then he, he orders all these people uh, and gives them instructions from God to go sell their stuff to further the ministry. And uh, so that there could be no lack in the ministry because they, you know, and they sold their houses and land and and uh, and they laid them down at the apostles' feet and distribution was made unto man. And then look, having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. And then you go into Acts five, which I've done a series on, which the people can't see because you brought down my ministry. Do you want to see it? Acts five. Where is it? See that? Acts 5. I've done a video on it, but thanks to these two people who are not Christ, they're Antichrist. Ananias and Sapphira, they had lied, not to men, they'd lied to God. And you know what happened? They were killed. They dropped dead. You reap what you sow. And in 1 Corinthians 5, I'm just going to read briefly here to close out. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. I'll put links in there. Fornication. And you know what the recompense, the, you know what happened on there? They were delivered to Satan for the destruction of the flesh that the spirit might be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Do you know why? Read it why. And in Romans 1. They talk about sodomites not inheriting the kingdom of God. Let's be honest. You can't be a sodomite going after a man with a, a, a vile affection. And uh, verse, this is uh, uh, Romans 1. Someone said, show me in the Bible because the person attacking me is a sodomite who hates men of God. Uh, it basically says here that they're covenant breakers without natural affection who knowing the judgment of God, 
This is who I'm talking to. They commit things anyway. They're worthy of death. And then they actually take pleasure in doing that. God bless.